the Ryobi 2800 PSI Power Washer product review. Here's what arrives on your doorstep. And here's what the box looks like when you first open it up. There's going to be the easy clean 15 inch surface cleaner. And then of course the power washer, which is not assembled yet. Then there's going to be the hose, the pump, a, a set of oil, and three manuals separately from the Honda engine, the power washer itself, and the easy clean. Assembly was easy and took me only about 15 minutes following the step-by-step -step manual. Then you will have your hose, pump, and everything else attached. Then for your first time use, make sure you fill it with oil and gas. Next, you will be hooking up your hose. Just screw it into the valve on the back. Starting is easy and you can just follow the instructions on the back panel. I found it easy enough so that you could get it on the second pull almost every time. Then just select the nozzle and adjust the power meter on the handle and you'll be ready to go. I chose the lowest power setting and it was already starting to clean off the concrete. You can see that the dirt is being removed and the results are showing already. Next, the Easy Clean Surface Cleaner clicks in simply like a nozzle. Then it works like a broom for your concrete. It's great. Now after using it, here are the pros and cons. For the pros, it has a good, reliable Honda engine. Also, it is easy to assemble and start. Next, it has a strong build and good wheels that make it perfect for being portable. Also, it comes with a great surface cleaner that works like a concrete foam. It also has the soap feature, many nozzles, and power adjusters, so you can use it for practically anything. And lastly, it runs well once it is started. Next, the cons are it has three separate manuals, which is annoying to have the power washer manual separate from the engine manual, separate from the accessory manual. Next, it has a small fuel tank, so you will have to fuel it up several times during the use. But that's not bad, considering it'll run consistently. Next, it, the handle of the power washer blocks the starter, so you'll have to remove the handle before you start it, which is just a small inconvenience. And lastly, it has an awkward starting position because there's really nowhere to put your foot down to hold when you pull the starter. So when you pull, normally it'll lift a bit off the ground, but normally it goes on the first pull anyways, so that's not so bad either. Overall, the pros outweigh the cons by a long shot. So this is why this product receives a 5 out of 5 from my point of view. I would highly recommend.